Hi Erin, today is Wednesday, October 12th, and this is your second K-pop primer video, and today's topic is MBLAC. MBLAC is an acronym for Music Boys Live in Absolute Quality. There are five members of MBLAC. They were put together and are mentored by Rain, whom I know I've mentioned to you before. He is a really popular K-pop idol and actor, and you probably recall him as being an arch nemesis of Stephen Colbert. Being mentees of Rain, they debuted at the Legend of Rainism concert on October 9, 2009, and five days later released their debut single album, Just Black, and the Oh Yeah music video. By far, my favorite M Black song is I Don't Know. Um, I really like a lot of their other songs, especially Oh Yeah and Mona Lisa, and they tend to be like strong and charismatic, and Mona Lisa has accordion in it, which I love, um, and they always have awesome dancing, but I don't know, is so happy and fun and wonderful, and when they perform it on stage, it's super adorable, and I'm probably going to link to multiple stages of it in the doobly-doo because it's really cute and slightly different every time. There are five people in M Black. Kumo is the leader and does vocals. Gio is the main vocalist. Lee Jun is an epic tastic dancer and does vocals. Chundung does vocals and rap. And Mir is the main rapper of the group. And he's also the youngest. He's the makne. Although sometimes they also refer to Chundung as a makne and they kind of make a good makne team together. Some fun facts about M Black. Gio, though currently clean shaven, used to have facial hair and is well known for it to the point that sometimes on shows when they're talking about what they do in the group, they talk about how Gio is in charge of hair in the group, which is kind of fantastic. Lee Jun, as mentioned, is an amazing dancer and is actually trained in contemporary dance, so sometimes you can find videos of him doing modern dance on shows, which I really enjoy. Jun was also in Ninja Assassin, which Rain starred in. Jun plays the younger version of Rain's character in the movie. I haven't seen this movie yet, but clearly I should. Um, and because he was in that movie, and it is a Hollywood movie, he's often referred to as a Hollywood actor when they're talking about him on show. In addition to Ninja Assassin, Jun has done some other acting, including the K-drama Jungle Fish 2, and he was the dub voice of Nomeo in Nomeo and Juliet, which is just adorable and makes me want to watch that movie in Korean. Other fun thing about June, he is without a shirt on a very frequent basis. Um, he has a really amazing body, so it makes sense that in performances, the fangirls like when they can see all his hard work there. Um, but he definitely tends to both just take off the shirt or not wear one or have lots of shower scenes in their music videos. Or he also is a fan of ripping his shirt off on stage. Um, and I fully support this as part of their performance. And it also makes me feel like Lee Jun and shirtlessness is an OCP in the same way that Nick Reeves and shirtlessness is. And that's wonderful. Chun Doong is actually the younger brother of Sundara Park, who's 21, so you'll see that referred to a lot. They actually look a lot alike. And also, Chun Doong has a kitty cat named Sebrung, and it's freaking adorable. I'm a sucker for cats in general, but his kitten is super, super cute. Mir also has a famous older sister, um, the actress Go Una. Mir really loves manga and has um, what seems to be a fairly extensive library of manga for which he recently got new shelves uh, as seen on Twitter. Aaron, you know if there's one thing I love more than K-pop is watching Korean variety shows and fortunately for me, M Black has been on a bunch of them. Um, they did season 5 of Idol Army and it was amazing. It was hosted by Jim Jerry and Shin Bong Sun, who are two of my favorite female Korean celebrities. And it was wonderful and adorable, and I highly recommend it as viewing. They were also on a couple episodes of Idol Makne Rebellion when the 
machines of the show tried to steal Mir away from them. Actually, they succeeded. They won, and they stole Mir. They had a, a contract that they wrote up on a piece of paper that Sumo signed, and signed Mir over to them, which was delightful. They've also been on a bunch of other TV and radio shows. They were on Kim Hichel's Young Street, and Shinkiti's show, and Sesame Player, and so many things, and Eugene has been a regular on Star Golden Bell and 100 Points Out of 100. So that's your overview on M Black, and there will be lots of links in the doobly-doo to check out, and I will see you on Monday.